Welcome to Bonn, an important cultural hub in the late 18th century. This is where Antoine Reicher lived from age 15 to 24, and it's also where he decided to become a composer. It may also be where he encountered the music of Johann Sebastian Bach for the first time, which would have great consequences for his piano music. Most of what we know about Reicher comes from his autobiography. There are gaps in the story, and to fill those gaps, we have to make educated guesses. The fact that Reicher knew Beethoven, who grew up here in Bonn at the same time, and who has been the subject of dozens of books, may help us understand why Reicher's piano music is the way it is. One major question is whether or not Reicher studied with Christian Gottlob Neife, a musician who shaped Beethoven's early musical identity. But why should we care whether Reicher studied with Neife too? Because Neife is the one who brought Johann Sebastian Bach's music here to Bonn. In the 1780s, almost none of Bach's music was in print. In fact, it would have been very unusual for the cornerstone of a young musician's education to be the well-tempered clavier. But Neife was a Protestant like Bach. He had studied in Leipzig, where Bach was a major musical presence. Neife knew and loved Bach's music. While Reicher's peers were attracted to the gallant style, which was elegant but a little bit superficial, he showed a preference throughout his life for old-fashioned counterpoint. Reicher was obsessed with fugue, and his piano works show how well he'd absorbed the keyboard works of Bach. I'm going to play a fugue Reicher wrote years later in Paris, where he was professor of counterpoint at the conservatory. At the time, Beethoven was writing his Ninth Symphony, and Franz Liszt, who would later be a student of Reicher's, hadn't even started piano lessons yet. The fugue is a joyous, exhilarating demonstration of Reicher's mastery of counterpoint. For me, as a pianist, the combination of its character and its key immediately calls to mind Johann Sebastian Bach's keyboard works. And the connection is real. Fifteen years earlier, Reicher had written another fugue explicitly on a theme by Bach in G major. Reicher also attended Bonn University, where his study of philosophy, logic, and mathematics had a profound effect. He later wrote that mathematics was the best way to shape rational thought, whereas music was the best way to guide the emotions. Reicher believed that the two disciplines could save men from the dangers of barbarism. The Enlightenment ideas Reicher encountered in Bonn led him to believe in tolerance, fraternity, and other progressive ideals. Unfortunately, philosophy met reality in 1794, when French revolutionary troops invaded the Rhineland and Reicher fled to Hamburg. But as we'll see, 
He spent most of his time there developing ideas he first encountered here in Bonn, a kind of personal musical revolution.